Hello, in this video, uh, we're going to uh, look at another application of the Michael reaction, which is the Robinson annulation. And we can think of a Robinson annulation really as a, a Michael addition followed by an aldol condensation with dehydration. And I've got a classic example here uh, where I've got uh, this cyclohexanone derivative. And it's reacting with a Michael acceptor methyl vinyl ketone under basic conditions, potassium hydroxide and water, uh, to form this bicyclic system. Okay. Uh, and there's two CC bonds that have been formed here. This one is first formed by the Michael addition. Okay. And then this CC double bond is formed from our aldol condensation slash dehydration. So I'm going to go over the different steps in this process so you can see the details of how this Robinson annulation occurs. All right, so we are going to start up here. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull off that alpha hydrogen with our base and we're going to form an enolate. Proton transfer. There's our enolate. And then that is going to uh, react with our Michael acceptor. Okay. So we're going to do a nucleophilic addition. And that's going to form our first carbon-carbon uh, bond here. Nucleophile addition. Okay. Okay, so there's our first CC bond there. And now we have another enolate ion. CH3 here. So there's another enolate ion, and uh, that can pick up a proton from water. So we'll do that. So we have a, a proton transfer here. Oh, and I lost something. <laughs> There's an oxygen here. Okay, and it's getting a little squished here. Sorry about that. Okay, so great. So now we're halfway through our mechanism. All right, and we've done the Michael addition. Now we're going to do the aldol condensation. So we're going to form another enolate. So hydroxide is going to pull off this hydrogen. We're going to do a proton transfer to form an enolate. Alright, so we're going to do that. Okay, 
Okay, so there's my enolate ion. And then uh, we have this electrophile over here. So we can have the enolate act as a nucleophile and we can do a nucleophilic addition to this carbonyl carbon. Okay, we're making another CC bond here. Nucleophilic addition. And we've almost reached a beta hydroxy ketone, if you remember from the aldol reaction. So we can do a proton transfer. This mechanism takes a lot of patience. Alright, so now I've got an alpha beta hydroxy ketone. And we're now to the last part of the mechanism, which is the dehydration. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? We're gonna form an enolate again. So I'm gonna take my base here, the hydroxide off this hydrogen. All right, and now I could I could show either uh, resonance form of the enolate. I'm gonna show the the carbon anion form of the enolate this time. Just have to have the appropriate curved arrows to go with whatever resonance form you're going to use. Okay, that's supposed to be a single bond. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to have that OH- go up. We're going to do a nucleophile elimination. That my left side is an enolate, so it's going to show that this has two resonance forms. That's why I'm putting these brackets around it. All right, and at long last, we get to our product here. So we've got that alpha, beta, alpha, beta unsaturated ketone. All right, so that, um, that concludes the, um, the mechanism of the, the Robinson annulation. As you can see, we've made a CC bond here and a CC double bond there. All right, uh, thanks for watching.